Since the start of 2020, banks in crisis mode have rapidly changed their tr digital trajectory. Many found the only way to achieve this was through collaboration with specialists who could help them meet their customers' needs. Michel André, Chief Information Officer for Banking Circle, is with me today to talk about how collaboration is helping banks overcome the barriers that legacy technology creates. Thank you, Michel, for joining us today. Um, so Banking Circle commissioned research amongst European banks at the end of 2020. What did it tell you about the challenges they're facing in the current market? Well, the report actually told us that, that they are faced with high costs and burden of, of uh, maintaining uh, and, and keeping up to date their legacy technology uh, across the platform and that the market have changed and different technologies becoming available, but they cannot really adapt and cope with that, uh, with, with the current demands on, uh, they cannot meet the client demands uh, in, 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 in certain areas due to that, uh, because they have uh, monolithic large systems that are not as flexible uh, to cater for these new services and expectations of, uh, of clients. Uh, so, so that was the major uh, challenge that, that uh, a lot of banks saw, according to this uh, commission rec report across Europe. So is this what is driving financial service providers to find innovative ways to reinvent the business-to-business -business payment services they provide? It's not the legacy tech per se, but rather the capability of meeting new clients' demand and being flexible and agile that's hampering them and also getting them to go out and, and potentially search for new partners so they can serve their clients in a, in a, in a better way, uh, a, a, apart from you know, the, the old way of doing correspondent banking and, and cross-border payments. And how do you think banks and payments uh, businesses are responding? Well, the entire business to business ecosystem needs for payments, for cross-border payments need innovation. Uh, but banks in this space are struggle to remain uh, relevant and uh, in, 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 in this space. Uh, but uh, you can actually, by collaborating with uh, technology providers or partners, uh, adapt your client offering and, and provide these services and meet the client expectations if you engage with someone that has essentially taken on the burden of, of building those kinds of uh, platforms and services tailored to meet the new client demands. And lastly, what is banking uh, Circle's role as a collaborative partner? Well, our main, our main job is actually to provide the technology and the platform to re reduce the cost and time of international payment on behalf of uh, our uh, clients, clients and, and, and so forth, because we are building a, a fully integrated system and platform of uh, local clearing connections and, and payment connections that banks and, and other financial players can hook up to to gain access to uh, cross-border payments across the world essentially as say a super correspondent bank with, with with a lot of connectivity and highly efficient processing with low cost and and, and quick times moving towards real time uh, cross-border payments, which is something you uh, you come to expect as a client today, that that things happen immediately when you are on your phone or and so forth. So we're 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 kind of building that and bringing it to the banks. Michelle, thank you for your time.